Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Today's um, Thursday, November, uh, November, not November, May 6th. And I'm gonna be vlogging today. I don't really have any huge plans today, but I thought I'd take you guys along. A lot of y'all really like the just stay in the life, taking you along with me as I go about my day. Um, a couple people have mentioned my channel in their, in their videos lately, and I think that's where I've had some new subscribers. So if you're new, Welcome, thank you so much for subscribing and I hope that you will enjoy sticking around. Um, Marina specifically, her channel is called Fearfully Created. I started watching her a few months ago and I, every single time I watch a video of hers, I'm literally laughing the whole time. She and her husband, like, it is, it's like a reality show. It cracks me up, they're so funny. And she is unashamed of who she is. She is a big personality <laughs> and I, I'm here for it. I love her. I just love her. She does not, is not bothered by negativity. It just doesn't get her down. I just love that. I wish I could be more that way. But she um, loves Jesus. You can tell with everything in her, she loves Jesus. And when you go to her channel, you're going to know that she loves Jesus. And she loves people. And it's very evident. She loves Jesus and people. And that's what life is all about. Love God, love people. And that is not an easy thing to do, especially on social media. <laughs> I'll link her channel down below. She's such a sweetheart. She keeps linking my channel, so I'm gonna link her channel down below. <laughs> but I got my sweet love. You want some, you're like, who are you talking to? What, are you talking to me? And there's Belle Belle. Everybody needs some attention. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna share a recipe with you guys today that, oh, hello. Okay, okay, hold on. Just a minute. Um, when my sister-in-law came for Elena's wedding, she shared a super easy recipe, um, a super easy crock pot recipe, and she made it when she was here, and I was like, I gotta share that with my YouTube friends, because that's a new one that I had never made, and it was really good. So I'm gonna go put that in the crock pot, because it's gonna, I probably should have put it in this morning, but my chicken was frozen solid, and I let it sit out on the counter for a little while so that it would not be so frozen, so I won't have to cook it as long, but, um, you just throw it on the crock pot and then tonight when it's dinner time I'll make some pasta to go with it and some veggies and that'll be dinner so it'll be easy and uh, it's really really good really flavorful so um, and I don't really know what it's called but I I call it Olive Garden Chicken <laughs> so anyway uh, other than that I don't really know what what plans I have today I really kind of wanted to do some gardening some like yard work like transfer some plants to my backyard and um, but I don't have, like, I didn't go get the mulch, and I have to pick out the plants I want to put in the front, and also the grass needs to be cut, and, like, I want to do it all at the same time, so I think that's going to wait for another day. But, um, if you didn't see Jackson's bedroom makeover, I'm going to go ahead and show you his room. I'll go in there and show you. It turned out so nice. I love it. The floors are beautiful, and like I said in the video, I want to do my whole house in those floors, but... That's another project for another day. I don't know. If I told, basically, Marion was like, do you want me to go get him? Do you want me to do it? And I was like, yes, but no. I'm not going to, you know, ask you to do that right now. Our floors are only a couple years old. They're this, I don't know if you can see. They're like this, it's kind of an orangey wood color, which is much better than what we had before, the natural hardwood underneath. And, of course, they're easy to take up if we want to change them. But, you know, one day I'll probably change them up. But for now, we did Jackson's floor, and it looks so nice. And our plan is to also do our room in the same flooring so the two bedrooms will match. Um, that project will be coming up. Also, my dining room makeover. We were talking about that last night. And also, I'm going to be doing a pantry makeover. Not sure which one's coming up next or exactly when they're coming up. So, uh, yeah, let me go show you Jackson's room in case you didn't see that video. If you remember, his floor was painted. I had paint, I, we pulled up carpet and it was hardwood underneath and the hardwood was in, a, was in really bad shape. So I painted it with an oil-based paint about, that was about seven years ago. And it was fine until he got his gaming chair and started rolling it across it and it was, looked awful but it looks so nice now and it even smells like everything smells new in here so let me show you so i came in here and i have four of my five animals in here with me <laughs> but look at these floors aren't they beautiful i just think they are so nice y'all leave the kitty alone she was sleeping up there so peaceful y'all are so cute 
Um, and I got him a new comforter, some new wall out, wall art. I just love it. It just feels so nice and clean. We still have his toy box. He doesn't really play with toys, but there's a few things like bow and arrows and stuff. And then I made these. These were just um, inexpensive closet doors I got from the Habitat for Humanity store. And Marion hung them for me, and I painted them to look like you know, barn doors. So if you already saw that video, thank you so much for watching it. And that, that was just a repeat of what I did. But I also, when I um, finally got all his stuff out of here yesterday, I gave it a good clean and I moved my table over against the wall. I had pushed it up against the corner and I thought, I kind of liked it. It gave me more of an open, I don't know, open feel. I'm always trying to squeeze out square footage in this little house, but for now that's going there. But Marion is going to be building me a new table, so it'll hopefully fit this space a little bit more. That'll be in my dining room makeover. So like I said, I don't exactly know when that's gonna be, but hopefully, hopefully this summer. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go put my food in the crock pot and share this recipe with you. Okay, so super easy recipe, only four ingredients. You need chicken breast, cream cheese, Olive Garden um, Italian dressing and Parmesan cheese. So I don't. You know, my sister-in-law made this when she was here, like I said, and I don't know exactly how much Parmesan she put in, but I think it was a cup, a half a cup to a cup. So uh, that's what I'm going to guesstimate, and I'll try to type this all down below. But I mean, like seriously, you just literally throw it all in a crock pot, turn it on. So this I've also let sit out at room temperature just so that it will be easier to cut and stuff. So, and I am going to put the whole jar of this. And my chicken, I have three chicken breasts here and um, Parmesan, so dinner's gonna be delicious. And then you can pour this over pasta, or you can use it like, um, I remember my sisters came over that night and we had some left over and they were dipping crackers in it and said it was really good. So it's just super flavorful because of this dressing. It makes it so flavorful. So I'm gonna throw all this in the crock pot now. little bit more maybe but um, I'm gonna put this on high because it's one o'clock so it should be ready by uh, around five to six o'clock which is perfect which is always when we eat dinner so and I am NOT a cream cheese fan like I'm not one of those people that eats cream cheese on a bagel or I don't like cream cheese I don't like cheesecake but I do like it in things when it's cooked and you don't like that isn't the flavor the only flavor that you taste so if you don't like cream cheese you can still give this a try it's delicious very flavorful and yeah I really like it and I love that I that it's a new recipe I hadn't tried so I thought I'd share it with you guys <laughs> so um, while I'm thinking about it I was at Walmart the other day and I was looking at boys clothes and this woman walked up and she's like are you Dorset Dorset I said yes and she was just like so sweet so sweet she talked to me for I was kind of rushing because I had to get Jackson from school but so we didn't get to talk a long time but we talked for a few minutes and she was just the sweetest so if you're watching Cece I just wanted to give you a shout out and say hey and thank you for saying hi to me at Walmart and also I hope you made it home safe because that was one heck of a storm that came in as soon as I walked out of Walmart I was like oh my word but I shared her picture on Instagram I, I'm not going to share it on here just I'm not sure if she wants me to but I told her I'd put it on Instagram so um, that was so fun it's so fun meeting people in real life when you know you, you see comments and you see names and all that and she said I was shorter in real life so <laughs> which is fine with me I whatever I'm five four five five in case you're wondering but um, yeah so that was just super fun super fun to see a subscriber and um, you know it's still so strange when someone recognizes you you're like what I'm what <laughs> But um, also, Cece, you gave me the sweetest gift, and I wanted you to know. I kept saying, I'm going to pay it back. I'm going to pay it back. What I meant was I'm going to pay it forward, not backward. I'm going to pay it forward. You blessed me, and I want to bless someone else. So thank you so much for saying hi and for your sweet gift and for all your views, for watching and supporting my channel. 
I wanted to share this with you guys. This company, Love Good Fats, sent me these uh, Chewy Nutty Bars. They sent these to me for free. They're not paying me for any kind of review. They just told me to give an honest review of these. And I um, have been eating them for a week, a week and a half or so. Basically, they are filled with good nutritious fats, but they're very low in sugar. This has two grams of sugar and this has one gram of sugar. And they did send me the cho dark chocolatey sea salt and almond and then the salted caramel. I am a huge dark chocolate fan, so I was really excited to get the dark chocolate. And salted caramel I like, but caramel would never be my go-to. It would always be dark chocolate. But these, these have nine grams of protein, and this one only has one gram of sugar, and this one two grams of sugar. So I have been, um, I haven't really said anything about it, but for the last two months, I've been on a sort of a health journey just to try and get healthier. I'll be 47 this year, not getting any younger. And um, so far I've had some really good success and I'm just gonna keep going. I have to date lost 11 pounds. And that while that is my goal, my main goal is to get healthy. So when this company reached out to me, I was like really looking for something that was that had less sugar that would satisfy me. When I was pregnant with Jackson, I had gestational diabetes and I saw a nutritionalist and I had all kinds of, she gave me all kinds of advice and I did really great on the diet and I was able to learn a lot about carbs and sugars and um, a lot of that I still try to do sometimes. <laughs> sometimes but I remember what she told me and I remember that she told me snacks needed to be at least five grams of protein because that's what's going to keep you full and you're not going to grab something that's unhealthy so these have nine grams of protein which um when I looked into them I was like one gram of sugar nine grams of protein yes I want to try this so um I actually have been eating them and I really do like them I will say if you I have been cutting out sugar for, like I said, about two months. I have very little sugar um, other than what's already in foods that you eat. But So if you go from eating sugar every day to eating one of these, this is probably not going to be very sweet to you. But for me, having cut out sugar, if you're not a dark chocolate person and you're used to milk chocolate, you're used to sugar, you know, like a Snickers bar, this is not going to be sweet enough for you. Sweet boy, you just need some love. Come here. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share them with you. I'll have a link down below if you're interested for 20% off. I do have all kinds of other bars too. These are just the Chewy Nutty that they sent me. And I was actually really excited. I saw that they had a bunch of different ones. And when they sent me these, I was like, I was excited to try these. They are very, very chewy. So if you have bad teeth or you can't really chew like almonds and harder things, they would be kind of difficult to chew. But if that's not an issue for you and you like chewy, which I personally like chewy, um, then these are good. Equal out to about $2 a bar, which I think is pretty average. They're actually also keto friendly. They're not 100% keto, but they're keto friendly and they're gluten free. So give them a try if you're interested, if you're on any kind of like, you know, health journey or you're looking for something that will fill you up in the afternoon so you don't grab, you know, something you shouldn't. When I grab one of these, I have zero guilt. And for me, I've, I've really been trying to like do something that's going to work for me that's not going to be like depriving myself of everything I love. So like tonight I'm having this chicken and I'm going to have pasta with it. But I'm just eating things in moderation and I'm really trying to cut out, you know, sugars like dessert every night and things like that. So like one and two grams of sugar, that makes me definitely happy. So I'll open one of these and let you see what they look like when I put this little guy down because right now... He just wants to hang out on my shoulder. Clyde. <laughs> this is his favorite. <laughs> it's his favorite thing. He just wanted his mama. Hey, I'm a baby. Hey, I'm a sweet baby. Yeah, I am a sweet baby. Okay, so this is the salted caramel and I took a few bites. That's what it looks like on the back. That's the front. It's loaded, loaded up with all kinds of nuts and things. So, like I said, if you're eating straight up sugar, this is probably not going to be very sweet to you. This is only two grams of sugar in this one. Anyway, thank you, Love Good Fats, for sending these to me. I hope you guys will give them a try if this is something you're looking for or, you know, 
keep it in mind if it's something that you're if you're thinking about going you know keto or trying something healthier so another thing I've been doing that I've never done consistently is I've been trying to drink smoothies because I do love fruit but it's a good way to get in other things like spinach which I said in my last video I discovered I really like it know like a really good fruit smoothie recipe let me know in the comments because I'm always like trying to I just put strawberries bananas blueberries spinach and milk in this so oh it's almost two o'clock my sister is graduating from the school she's going to in California it's a virtual graduation so I need to go watch that there she is well Angela Andrews Virginia yay <laughs> there she is there she is Aurora Gracie from Mexico just got back from getting Jackson and it smells so good in here. Dinner is gonna be so good, I cannot wait. Look at these flowers, they bloom every, only in May, every May we get them on this bush right out here and they're so beautiful. I always know in May I'm gonna have a beautiful tree out here. I think Claire's stolen Clyde's spot. Yeah, you stole it, you did. So I like the window too. I got the window open but it's kind of a little cool out there. What do you want? What do you want? Why are y'all so excited? Oh my goodness. You wanna go outside too? Do you wanna go outside? Do y'all want your balls? Do you wanna play with your ball? Do you want your ball? Bell Bell, do you want your ball? <laughs> What's that? You want that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, it's been a little over four hours and this smells amazing I can't even tell you how amazing <laughs> I'm gonna pull the chicken out and see if it's done and then I'm gonna shred it and then put it back in
so that is what it looks like I added frozen broccoli I just cooked in the microwave just to make it a little healthier but I could put it on the side but I just sometimes like to mix it all together it smells so good and I did have a bite and it was delicious <laughs> that was so good so so good the flavor is amazing and look how much we have left over so much left over and it I want to like um use some crackers maybe tomorrow I'll have some for lunch and use like a really crispy cracker um like a wheat thin or something would be so good with that but I'm gonna clean the kitchen up now and Marin was gonna go cut the grass but um and I was gonna go out and replant some flowers but he says his back is hurting so he's gonna he actually ran to Lowe's to get some quarter rounds to go along the um baseboards of Jackson's room he never finished that off when he put the new floor in so He's gonna go get that right now, and then he says he's gonna cut the grass tomorrow. So, actually, I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I need to check that. But, um, so I guess I'm not, I don't wanna go out there and dig up, I don't know, I might still go dig up the flowers. I don't know, the grass is just so long. But, um, I'm gonna clean the kitchen. It's uh, only 6.15, but I wanna have it done, yes. Um, I wanna have it done, so I don't have it hanging over my head. Say hey. Hello. <laughs> Way to return to the time when everything was easy to learn. Don't know when it started to get so serious. Building up an illusion of a world full of trust. Moving on when everything's gone. It's hard to be strong. back he got the quarter rounds and he got them in white so I don't even have to paint them which is glorious so these are just gonna go along you know the bottom between the baseboard and the wood just covers up that little tiny gap Jackson you've grown so much everybody said you've gotten taller <clears throat> Wow I'm almost a foot taller than you that's crazy my mom got him those stilts for Christmas in case you missed my Christmas vlog. They're kind of crazy, but he's gotten really good at it. I have yet to try them. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. So if you remember, we repainted Marion's office back here. I'll turn the light on. 
his um, office. We put new paint and we put new carpet and we never got him a new recliner and he's not ever hung anything on the walls except this one. He, his nickname is Genius, so it's just a joke. It's just an inside joke. So when he sits here and he works, then they see that behind him when he's doing like a Zoom call. But I did buy him some things for his birthday that we never put up on the wall. And also he took stuff down when he painted and never put that back up. So maybe I'll help him put that up. He also does have this picture of him, his sister Denise, and his mom. This was the last time we saw her before she went to be with Jesus but uh, I gave him that picture to put on his wall. It still has the pictures for the, yeah, the things I gave him in the bag for his birthday. Uh oh, he also has that. He loves superheroes, in case you didn't know. I think a lot of men do. He's not into sports at all, but he's into superheroes. So I got him that one. Captain America. above the TV over here, but his desk is a little slanted, so the TV's a little slanted, and having these up there would make it look even more slanted, so. Alright, that didn't do much to much, but he put his lovely Dune poster. His Camaro, what is it? Corvette? Corvette. Corvette. Michael bought him a Corvette for Christmas, his favorite car that he says one day he's gonna have when all our kids are grown. And then there's his pictures over there. And sorry, you know. His Batmobile parking, we need to replace this thing. Definitely need to replace this thing. What is wrong with this thing? Or you mean me? We need to replace you? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. No, no. This. Where do I begin? All right, he put the, what is it called? Quarter rounds, look at how nice, wow. <laughs> you never, we've never had those on. Okay, well this wasn't shown in the reveal video, but look at that, oh, I love it. Now you need to do this in the whole rest of the house. All right, time to say goodnight, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you'll come back. Um, and stick around and subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like vlogs, if you like these kind of vlogs. Make sure to check out Marina's channel, link down below. And also make sure to check out Love Good Fats. Use my coupon code down below if it's something you're interested in, if that's something that you are looking for or want to try. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you always. And I will see you in my next video.